I'm on my way to pick up Rosie now. Levet is just right down there and I can't wait to see her and hug her. Everything is going super well. I didn't get any phone call last night so that means everything is going smoothly and she's recovering well. I'm just gonna head down to the vet now and grab her. I can't wait to see her. She has to keep on this cone for a while. Yes. Yeah. Until mm -hmm. I see you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there are a couple things I want to try. What happened? Oh. Oh. The worst part is her little cries. Like, it's worse than like the surgery. I feel so bad for her pain. Let's go home. We're going home, baby girl. We're back home now. She's doing okay, actually. She was talking a lot in the car. So far, so good. It's not as bad as I expected. The vet had to shave this area here to do the surgery, so it's all shaven. And right here, oh, there, it's shaved. And right here is her morphine. It's like a little pain patch. So usually he sticks on a whole sticker, but he kind of blocks some of it with these stickers because she can't handle that much at once. So that's what he did for her there. And then she's got her cast here to keep her legs straight. She has a pin in her knee. And then this part he told me to keep watching. Um, her little foot here to make sure it doesn't get big or swollen. If it gets swollen, I have to take her back right away. But it's been good so far. Kind of looks like she's going for Martina style. She's got the shaved part and she's got some bright pink going on. You look beautiful. And you're very brave and strong. Mommy's very proud of you. So she also has this cone she's supposed to wear, but I took it off her and she's not even like licking or bothering with her cast at all. So I think it's okay. And I'm watching her like crazy. Like I'm gonna be home all day just editing and reading or whatever. So I'll have her right either on me or next to me. She always wants to be on me. So probably on me. So I'll be watching her well, but I'll probably put this back on at night just to be sure since I won't be watching her. So the doctor put a pin in her kneecap. I will post a picture here. So she has to keep her leg very straight in this cast as it like heals. And medicine wise, she has to take some pills twice a day. She has an antibiotic and a painkiller. That's kind of a difficult part. One part is keeping her still for these two weeks because she always wants to walk around and she like, I, when I put her down, she acts like she doesn't care. Like she'll just start hopping and trying to do stuff. Like it's like she feels no pain, it's so weird. Um, but so yeah, keeping her still is quite challenging and then also getting the, her to eat these. I uh, even sneak them inside her food, but she still will like somehow sniff it out and not eat that one or she will eat it and spit out the pill. She always does that, so that's a challenge. <laughs> this looks so wrong. I'm not even gonna say it. But yeah, she's surprisingly doing really well. She seems quite happy and just a little bit tired, but we're gonna recover. Okay, so for lunch today, I'm gonna to be trying a new recipe. I saw this video on my Facebook feed. Somebody shared it from a website and they are zucchini pizza bites. And the recipe looked amazing. However, it wasn't vegan. So I'm gonna try and recreate that recipe today in a vegan way. So basically I grabbed a zucchini from the supermarket and I chopped it up in round slices. And I'm gonna lay it here. And then you wanna grab a nonstick pan which I have over here. And I just sprayed it with cooking spray. And then I'm gonna take this little brush thing, um, you could use whatever you like. And I put some extra virgin olive oil into this bowl. And I'm just gonna lightly brush the tops of the zucchinis with the extra virgin olive oil. I thought this recipe was 
perfect for today because it's quick and easy to make and it looks so delicious. Now I'm just gonna place them all onto this baking pan. I think these would be perfect to make for parties too because they're just like little bite-sized appetizers that you could serve. Hopefully they turn out good, then they would be good for parties. Oh, by the way, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to bake them for about 5 minutes until they're slightly tender. While that's cooking up, you can prepare your toppings for your pizza. I'm going to slice up some fresh sweet basil. There's nothing like the smell of fresh herbs. It smells so good in here right now. There we go. And then for the pizza sauce, I'm using some of this Wagyu homemade style sauce. And for the cheese, I'm using this cheese, 100% dairy-free mozzarella style cheese. It's a vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free cheese. So yeah, I'm gonna make it. Oh, they're ready. So now you just wanna take a little bit of pizza sauce and put it on them. Like that. Now I'm just gonna add some of the mozzarella cheese. Okay, and now for a little bit of sweet basil. You guys can make these however you want. I mean, if you're not vegan and say you're just vegetarian and you eat cheese, then you can put regular cheese on this. Or if you eat meat, then you can put pepperoni or whatever you want and you can change the toppings like you can put different veggies, different meats, different cheese, whatever you want. These are really versatile and I know that some of you that watch my videos are on a high carb low fat diet so you could also put no cheese and just put the sauce and then put different veggies on it but whatever you put on just make sure you chop it up small because it fits a lot better and I think it looks cuter. Now I'm going to pop these back in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius for another 10 minutes. There we go, just out of the oven. They smell amazing. And I'm going to pop these on a plate. There we go. just editing yesterday's vlog and she's, she's been sitting on my lap. I figure I don't really need a cage here during the day because I'll just watch her or she's on me or I'll put her in here if she wants to go to sleep. But yeah, I don't think she really needs it. I don't want to trap her. I'm going to put it there at night just to make sure she doesn't walk around because I won't be up to watch her. But other than that, I think she doesn't need to be enclosed inside of a cage. And I don't think she really needs her cone either because she's not picking at her ca caster. She doesn't really mind it. So cute. Ah, careful. Careful. Here, let me do this. I want her to take a little nap and rest. Oh, she wants a belly rub still. She always tries to turn over so that I can rub her belly. <laughs> Do the belly. There, does that feel better? You gotta go pee pee's outside? You gotta go pee pee's outside? <laughs> Trying to get her to go pee, it's very difficult, but let's try. I have to put together Rosie's cage now because although I can pay attention to her all day and make sure she's not moving around a lot. I can't pay attention to her all night, so I'm going to set this up around her bed just to keep her still for the night. The directions are trapped in here, so how to open this to get it out. This is going to take me a while. It won't come undone. I can just do it like this. <laughs> there, she can go inside and problem solved. <laughs> Just kidding, that's really horrible. Yeah. I'm gonna figure this out, it takes me all night. Hopefully this won't open. Seems like I have to push off this part. I can't get it off. Did it, did it. 
finished. This is so depressing. We gotta pee, yeah. I figured out she just needs to wobble around by herself for a little while until she gets comfortable and then she'll just pee. So I'm glad we got that done because yeah, she's able to pee. I'm sure she feels much better now. And now I feel like something sweet. I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians and I think I'm gonna make some nice cream. So just some healthy ice cream. I've got some frozen cranberries. I said that weird. Um, and some frozen raspberry, blueberry, cranberry mix in here and frozen bananas. So I think I'm just gonna throw a bit of each into this blender and add a bit of soy milk. There we go, I just plopped it in this mug because everything tastes better out of a mug. Ice cream and soup especially. Mmm. This mix is really good. It's tangy because of the berries and cranberries. A little bit sweet with the banana and slightly creamy because of the soy milk. Mmm, really good. Yeah.